Hello friends, this video on differential equation part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 7. So now let's understand the methods to solve first order, first degree differential. Please note, we'll be solving only first order and first degree differential equation using this method. So first degree, first order, first degree equation is of this form dy by dx because this is first order now and there is no square or something because it's first degree is of this form is equal to f of xy. Now if I'm able to write this f of xy is equal to h of x, g of x and h of y two functions multiplication then only I can use this method. Please note this method is only for the form where I can write in this fashion dy by dx is equal to h of y into g of x two functions in terms of x and y and both are in product form. If I can write in this fashion what I can do is I can make this guy this side so this becomes this becomes 1 by h y dy correct and this becomes gx dx. See you take 1 by h y dy this guy into dy is equal to you take dx this side this becomes gx dx right and then what to do you integrate both sides. Once you integrate, you will get the solution. So this is a case where I can write in this fashion. We will solve some examples to get the cursor clear. But this is how we will do. So if I have my equation, first order, first degree of this pattern, if not this pattern convertible to this pattern, I can very well solve the equations. Let's take one example. It says dy by dx equal to 1 minus cos x by 1 plus cos x. So if you see, this guy is a function in x and there is no function in y actually. You can assume this guy is 1. So if you can see this guy, I can write this guy in this form. Correct? Where my g of y is equal to 1 or f of x is equal to this guy. 1 minus cos x by 1 plus cos x. That means I can use the formula which I told. So this guy will become actually dy is equal to 1 minus cos x by 1 plus cos x dx. Right? You integrate both sides. And then you get the answer. Correct? Integrating is not that difficult for it. Why? Because we have done this kind of question. 1 minus cos x I can write as 2 sin square x by 2 and 1 plus cos I write generally 2 cos square x by 2 right. So cos square x by 2. So with this I get this is nothing but tan square x by 2 and integration of tan square x by 2 I know. So this is nothing but integration of tan square x by 2. Correct. Tan square x by 2 further we'll write as sec square x by 2 minus sec square x by 2 minus 1 because we know integration of sec square x by 2 right the whole thing dot dx is nothing but integration of dy or you get y is equal to you integrate this guy sec square x by 2 is nothing but 2 tan x by 2 1 becomes x and plus c so that is my answer please note this is a general solution because a term c is involved right this is general solution. So when we introduced this chapter, we talked about general solution and particular solution. So here we got general solution. We'll take some examples where we'll find a particular solution also. We will be given some value of x and y. With that, we can put in this value and we'll get the value of c. And then we get a particular solution. Here we got general solution. So what we have done here, we knew that dy by dx is nothing but f of x into g of, g of y form, where g of y is 1 and f of x is this whole thing. So we wrote in this fashion and then the only challenge was to find integration of this and we have learned how to find integration of this in our integral chapter. Let's take one example dy by dx is equal to root 4 minus y square dy. Same thing here also I can write in this fashion dy by root 4 minus y square is equal to dx. The trick here is on the left hand side put everything on the form y. On the right hand side put everything on the form of x. Right. So here we have this things in the form of y. In the form of x there was nothing so I did nothing here. In the last example in the form of y there was nothing but in the form of x there was a lot of stuff 1 plus cos x plus minus cos x I put that. And that's why we, we say that dy by dx 
has to be equal to some f of x and g of y right that's why you can put uh, this g of y in this side and d of x in this side so that's what we do we integrate now so root 4 minus y square is is nothing but 2 square minus y square you can say right 2 is nothing but 4 so integration of this we know is nothing but sin inverse y by 2 and this becomes integration of dx is x and one constant so you get y by 2 is nothing but sine of x plus and that is my answer here also if you see it's a constant term so it is also a general solution so not a great thing here with a simple question we'll take an example dy by dx is equal to plus y is equal to 1 so this also is very simple actually you can write as dy by dx is equal to 1 minus pi if you see there is no x component only y component here in this side so i'll write this guy as dy by 1 minus pi is equal to dx correct you integrate both sides so this becomes minus log of 1 minus y and this becomes x and plus some constant and that's my answer actually so if you want further what you can do is you can say that uh, 1 minus y is equal to my sorry log of 1 minus y is nothing but minus of x plus c or 1 minus y is e to the power minus x plus c or y is equal to 1 minus e to the power minus x plus c and if you want to uh, find the final equation in terms of y is equal to something right so you can do this way also and thus you get this answer correct here also if you see there is a constant term here so this guy is also a general solution okay let's take one more question 6 square x tan y dx plus 6 square y tan y tan x dy is equal to 0 so let we have to convert this guy into uh, fx gx form actually so let's try to do this so what we can do is we want to put everything on this side right to be of uh, x form not y form right so let's divide this guy by 10 by 10 by so with this what will happen is this guy becomes only x form right and this guy has now 6 square y and 10 y this guy has one x form i want to get rid of this so let's divide both sides by 10x also so what you get actually here is 10 by 10 by cancel you get 6 square x 10x dx plus 10 y 6 square y 10 y this is what you get correct sorry 6 square x 6 square x by tan x actually and 6 square y by tan y correct this is what you get is equal to 0 or you can say that 6 square x by tan x dx is equal to minus of 6 square y tan y divided and you integrate both sides so if you see this side has all x part, this side has all y parts. To get this what I have done was, see if you see, this guy had one extra uh, y part, so I divide both sides by y, this part is gone, right? This guy had one extra x part, I divide both sides by x, this part is gone. So x squared by 10x again is acceptable because this will again be x part. That's what I get. I have to solve this. In this case, if I take uh, tan x is t, if I take tan x as t, then uh, if we take tan x as t1 let's pull for this guy you get 6 square x dx as dt1 correct so this guy becomes integration of dt1 by t1 and there is nothing but log of t1 and there is nothing but log of tan x you take right side now here we take tan y as t2 
right so you get six square y dy as dt2 so this becomes dt2 and this becomes t2 minus this becomes minus log of t2 this becomes minus log of t2 is nothing but 10 by plus some constant i get and that is my answer correct if you want to solve further this becomes log of 10x plus log of 10y that is log of 10x into 10y is equal to c correct and that is the answer or you can also say 10x into 10y is equal to e to the power c so you can simplify as much as you want but this is an acceptable answer so what we have done we have the the logic i told you right we should have dx and dy component this guy should have all x things they should have all y things and that's why we did we divide by this guy this guy this guy this guy so that to make sure that we got all x compound on this side and all y compound on this side let's take one more example e to the power x plus e to the power minus x dy is equal to e to the power x minus e to the power minus x d so here i can write very simple dy by dx is equal to e to the power x minus e to the power minus x by e to the power x plus e to the power minus right or let me put dx here only so what i have done i have put dy here because there is no y component in all these and dx here all the x components just integrate correct so let's do one thing let's take this guy as t d to the power x plus to the power minus x is equal to t is minus so you get e to the power x minus e to the power minus x dx as dt so this becomes this whole thing becomes dt by t integration and this is y so you get y is equal to log of t plus some constant and that is nothing but log of e to the power x plus e to the power minus x plus some constant and that is my answer So nothing great sign here also we have dy and dx we got all y component here there was nothing here all x here integrated let's take one example dy by dx is equal to 1 plus x square into 1 by y square very simple question because this is if you see fx and this is gy already we have been given in this form so i can say that dy by 1 plus y square is equal to 1 plus x square dx just integrate both sides so this becomes tan inverse y becomes x plus x cube by 3 plus c and that is my answer or you can say y is equal to tan of x plus x cube by 3 plus c and the answer and please note here also this is the general solution till now what we have found is all general solution only Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.